Uh, teacher, I wish you well and good health. But Town uh, I had written to you last week, looking for a debate here on the results of the referendum. The fact that you recklessly wasted 23 million, probably plus twice that, on a, a referendum campaign, supported by all political parties here, except for uh, smaller parties. And we in the rural independence opposed that uh, because the, the wording was nonsensical and it didn't mean sense. And you hid the truth. You all hid the truth collectively from the electorate. The people have spoken now. The first chance they got to, to give you a comment on you since you cobbled your government together. So it is time for you to go and go with haste. And as I said, no ill will towards yourself. The fact that you'd pass around now and you have an executive meeting tonight, I've seen as a dispatch there, to pick who be Taoiseach. That is completely unacceptable. You have lost the faith of the people overwhelmingly in every part of the country except barely by the skin of someone's teeth in Dublin South, I think, or Dunleary. Every place else are fed up of your antics. You, Minister Coveney, were, were, were bending around extra money for the carers as if there's confetti at, at, at a wedding. You, they gave you your answer. So it's time to pack your bags and go off. So we Thank need you. an immediate debate here, Count Cola, on the results of the referendum, when all parties and classes supported it. Thank you. I just wanted to um, take this opportunity as well to, to uh, note the passing of former colleague Emmett Stagg, uh, somebody I would have worked with um, when he was Deputy uh, Chief Whip in the... Um, uh, 2011 to 2016 period and somebody who was uh, very much a fine man and did a lot to make sure that that government um, stayed together and uh, got votes across the line and want to extend my condolences to his family and party and supporters and friends. Um, in relation to the issue of asylum seekers, we have private members down about that this week so there's an opportunity to discuss it there. Um, my understanding is that uh, right now there are over 100 international protection applicants uh, in Cruxling where they have access to toilets and showers, um, regular meals and other services and also access to healthcare services too. Um, so uh, those are the services that, 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 that are available until something more permanent can be found. Um, just once again to reassure the uh, House that government business scheduled for this week will continue uh, as it should. Um, European Council happens tomorrow uh, and I'll attend it, work goes on. Uh, and we will discuss Gaza and we'll be discussing European Council statements this afternoon, which is an opportunity for people to talk about that in particular if they so wish. Um, once again, to restate that the Constitution is clear as to how our system works. The President is directly elected, uh, the Taoiseach is elected by the Dáil, the Dáil is elected by the people, uh, and there will be an opportunity for a debate uh, on the election of the Taoiseach government uh, in early course. Uh, on the referendum, uh, the results are clear. Uh, the people have spoken, the government accepts uh, and respects the outcome of the referendum uh, and I don't ever think that uh, spending money on democracy, uh, whether it's a referendum or whether it's uh, an election for the Shannon or the Dáil or the European Parliament, uh, is, is ever a waste of money even if you don't get the result that you want.